And so far they have equated that, but certainly looking to continue to improve and build the program around it. Nice move! And shot and goal! From a sharp angle and we're tied at one. We'll be broadcasting that one live at seven on SEC Sports. Through ball chance for Rodgers, he scores! Oh wow, Alex. To try to work in, Eckerle. Oh, ball's loose in the crease. They threw, they score! Second half here of plays. Zephyrs will move right to left across your television screen. That is an odd play, and they score. Oh my goodness! A goal off the opening whistle. Three to nothing, Matamida. By Blocky, and Blocky's pass inside the box. Quick shot, and a goal for Matamida. Just outside the, or just inside the box. A lot of curl and right over the outstretched arm. And there it is, the Zephyrs win the match. They claim three sets out of the four played tonight. Single back formation, your handoff is to Odompton. Odompton getting the edge to the outside. He's going to be able to get through in for the touchdown. Man out to the right, it's Burwald trying to evade pressure as it comes here on the blitz. Throw down the field, cut that time by Jeffrey O'Donovan. He's in Burwald for the touchdown. To and so the Bears will get their first victory over the Creighton Durham Hall Raiders since 2014. Here, Tartan has a lot of seniors on this year's roster, so a lot of turnover. Aaron Carr with authority. Zeckler hesitates. Wayland reads the play. And Emma Bunter finishes the job for the Titans. North St. Paul trailed 17-10 in the fourth set, and Kane will finish it in the fifth set. North St. Paul keeps their winning streak alive against Tartans. Olsen, Nelson looking for Gustafson again. Pushed it across, great play by Cruz, but it's not enough. And the Bears finish off set number three and finish off their first win against Creighton Durham Hall since October of 2007.